This is the Energizer Ultimate Lithium Ion Battery. My name's David and this is gonna be my full review. One of the motivations why you'd wanna go with this battery is because you're tired of dealing with that battery acid which is corroding everything that you own. With lithium, you no longer have to worry about that corrosion process. One of my main motivations for actually switching to these batteries is because a lot of the toys that I grew up with, um, a lot of my relatives and stuff are passing them down to their kids and we kind of pass them around in our family and we don't want those toys getting destroyed by that nasty acid that's building up in them and corroding them. So using these batteries, we no longer have to worry about that. And plus the toys are gonna last longer in terms of battery life as well because of these Energizer batteries that we're putting in them. These batteries have a shelf life of like 20 years. It's kind of scary when batteries bring in your own mortality into perspective. Because these batteries use a lithium ion technology, they're able to perform at extreme temperatures on the back, it says negative 45 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. It almost feels like these things were made for like another planet. These lithium ion batteries are gonna easily be able to outperform both carbon zinc as well as your regular old alkali battery, such as your Duracell. So these are a very high performing battery. We're talking levels of multitude greater in terms of battery life. Um, over the regular carbon zinc, just because the technology and the actual um, element that they're using to build that charge is actually different from the other alkali batteries and the uh, carbon zinc batteries. So these batteries actually hold a little bit more voltage than your regular old traditional battery. So one thing you can do if you're having trouble with a device where it's like getting too much voltage is you can put in maybe a dead battery into that device and then get the device to continue to work because you drop that voltage down because you have like maybe a string of six batteries normally. You can put one dead battery in there and then lower your voltage overall and then that will help you get your device working because again, these do hold a little bit higher charge. But just keep in mind, if you're putting just two of these batteries in a device, you should be perfectly okay. So if you're in a mine shaft somewhere close to the equator and you wanna make sure that your helmet light is gonna work, or if you're in Antarctica and you wanna make sure that your GPS is gonna work, or if you just want your remotes to work, this is a great battery for that. 